to you see some of us that came to Saudi Arabia to work as a housemaid, it is by mistake. Hi guys. <laughs> you guys, I'm not even kidding. I have been laughing. Okay. I know I just decided to react to this particular comment today because <laughs> I just feel like it is a little bit weird. I'm like, how do you judge a person? Because I don't know whatever it is that you felt or you assumed from me from watching my videos. Okay, I don't know what. But you guys, who is you guys? Hi, if you're new here, hi. I am Rachel Bennett. You're welcome to Rachel Spot. And this channel, I create content related to housemates in Saudi Arabia that's where I am currently okay I am so good I have been looking at you guys right <laughs> because I'm using <laughs> I'm using my front camera so I'm so used to looking at myself yes instead of looking at you guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you are here I am here okay all right you guys anyways enough play I wanted to beat my face up, but that comment, I just felt like, chill, just calm down, Rachel, calm down, I feel like you're doing too much, you know, y'all be making me my, <laughs> how do I say this, y'all be putting my, my self-esteem on a low level, okay, stop it, I don't know, that comment just kind of really got to me somehow in one of my videos, I'm going to find it and you can link the video down below, so you guys can check it out. Okay, go see the comments by yourself, you guys. I kind of felt weird by that comment. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, like, gosh, the, the way people feel like, uh, let me just say society as a whole, feel like a housemaid should look like, a housemaid should talk like, a housemaid should act like. It's kind of weird, okay? Because to me, it's a job, okay? It's just a job and it's more like a banker it's more like a doctor it's more like a teacher yeah you guys so i feel like i should address that comment because i think i have mentioned something like this on mostly every of my videos okay because i'm one person i just like to be my best at whatever it is i am doing i like to be my best and he is right anyways he or she i don't know he is right by saying that because this is what the society has grown to believe in let me put it that way they have grown and let's say we have grown to believe that housemates are meant to look tattered they are meant to you see some of us that came to Saudi Arabia to work as a housemate it is by mistake not me I knew what I was coming for okay don't get me wrong but I know of people that they came here due to their agent lied to them am I right yeah okay go check out these channels you'll see okay that I know some of them that their agents lied to them they scam them and you come down to Saudi Arabia you have no other options okay you have no other options I mean you can't come down to Saudi Arabia and say I'm going back in the next although there are some people in my company then before I left okay, okay that came but they spent at least three months before they went back to Nigeria they couldn't do the job and everything me I was a workaholic okay there's nothing I cannot do she's not a joke you guys let's leave it at that my mom is not a joke so it was kind of normal to me I mean she not just to clean somebody's house and it's even easier here that you're using a mopping stick, you're standing and you're sweeping the floor. Not like my own home. That you have to bend down. Do you understand? You have to bend down. Your waist is on the low. And you're cleaning the floor, you guys. Okay? On this part of the world is a total different case. Okay? There are some. I know of pretty teas also. There was a video she created. And I saw her sweeping with the normal Nigerian broom. And she's an old man. Okay? <laughs> you guys. So it depends on where you are, but I feel like cleaning houses here. Don't get me wrong, nobody should come for me, okay? I'm saying based on what I have experienced. I have also worked in places that are terrible, like, oof, really, really terrible. And it's so funny how I'm doing this kind of job, knowing the fact that I easily get irritated. 
you guys and you know being a housemaid you're waking up to dirty toilets you're waking up to dirty kitchens you know uh, you, there was a time I wanted to wash the toilet I just woke up in the morning like what I do first when I wake up in the morning I clean the bathroom the kitchen is late at night okay after everything the cooking and everything is late at night I do it but every other cleaning I do during the day okay so I wanted to wash the toilet and that was when I first came into Saudi Arabia anyways I wanted to clean the toilet and I just dip in the brush in it they didn't flush and i didn't notice i just drew everything on my face you guys see that day i wasn't myself should i say for a whole week or even more i wasn't myself at all you guys <laughs> i am sorry okay so this is what we go through being a housemaid for someone okay in someone's house it's not easy see after that day Eh? till now I'm still in Saudi Arabia even when I go back to Nigeria in my own house in my own toilet that I will use I'm first I'm always going to flush first before you wash okay that's something I have mastered right now flushing a bathroom a toilet before you wash so you don't get all those but yeah they okay, forget to flush they forget all of these things so ew anyways let's not move out of the topic for this video so what i'm trying to say is that let's stop this mentality of a housemaid should look that way this way see how you carry yourself is how people will carry you <laughs> you don't understand this thing <laughs> these people they are very sensitive okay the people you're working for they are very sensitive how you carry yourself is how they will carry you they notice when they see you like this they feel like oh she's indeed miskin you know poor what they call miskin is somebody that is poor you know so but when you carry yourself they feel like oh probably she's just here based on papers issues you know they treat you differently i don't know i don't know how to do this but anyways that is it uh, for this video, this is what I came out here to say today. Okay, there's no particular way a maid should look, there's no particular way a shagala, a kadama should look. Okay, if you're allowed to open your hair, if you're allowed to put on leggings, to put on trousers, look at me, I'm wearing just a top, a very small top, and I can put leggings on it and I go out to work. I work in a compound, a private compound, you guys, okay? I don't use a buyer. My boss, she doesn't mind. She's, she doesn't care at all, okay? Meanwhile, I'm used to working in a uh, gown. I think I, I made a, a video of what I wear during the day for, for work outfit, whatsoever. That video is there. Go check it out. So, yeah, I'm used to working in gowns be huge gowns than you know a, like a casual wear a topping and uh a leggings i'm not used to because when we first came it was like cover your body cover your bed you get so now i am used to that but now here that i am is a different case okay i am now open just living my normal life like but anyways you guys that is it for this video i love you guys keep a positive mind okay keep a positive mind Bye guys, I love you. See you in my next one. <gasps> Before you leave, I forgot. <laughs> I said I haven't been saying to you guys subscribe to my channel. Please, I need to master this. So I need to master it on my videos. Please, please. I am not posh. Okay? I am not more than a housemaid. Okay? I am not bigger than anybody that is a housemaid. Help your girl support. Support my channel, please subscribe turn on the post notification to keep in touch with me okay if you do not turn your post notification you will not get notified whenever i post and you not keep seeing my fine face okay bye bye